have a long standing history with multiple financial institutions that rely on our solutions for, for years. And uh, in some instances, these solutions are running on an on-premise basis. And a lot of the interaction between the financial institutions happen offline or on via phone calls or different communication channels. What we are doing is, is now trying to bring the, our, our key solutions, build the bridges so that it's offered in a blockchain environment where the authentication, validation, whatever is needed to be done, gets done instantaneously by simply linking what's already on premise with these financial institutions in a, in, a, in a blockchain environment. It'll have some cost implications, but I think a high level of accuracy is, uh, is definitely what's needed by, by a lot of financial institutions now, right? And uh, the, it addresses a high, uh, the risk, risk measures at high level, compliance, regulatory compliance. I mean, it touches multiple areas and that's why I think it's taking time across the industry for blockchain to be adapted because different pieces within each financial institution need to, to be tuned in to derive the best value. I think basically it's, we're talking about an implementation issue and not a technology issue. The technology works, right? You know, when you go and see the demos and the providers and the tech startups that have developed blockchain type technology, they all work, right? And we know it's there. The issue is not necessarily does it work, the issue is how do we implement it? How do we get everybody access to it? How do we lower the barriers to entry so that everybody can join and sort of plug in to a global blockchain? How do we do that and how do we make it easy? And part of that is going to be standards and part of that is going to be creating uh, uniformity and how we access it. If you look at the clearing systems, uh, Swift versus Euroclear versus diff different sort of institutions that are carrying similar functions across the pond, I hope blockchain doesn't go down that route because that will not derive the maximum value, right? You'll have financial institutions in, in the US, or certain parts of the US, uh, focusing on one and uh, uh, similar entities in Europe around the other. It's, it's ultimately who is to retain control, right? Uh, I, says, I, I hope it doesn't, but I suspect this is going to be the model. There'll be different blockchain environments addressing different markets uh, with key, key supporters. The, it's it's going to be a bigger challenge for the tier one institutions or top tier one institutions is who, who will they be aligned with. I think ultimately what we really need to do is we really need to plug it into the community. Are we there yet? No. But I think the conversation has started to go in the right direction.